You can also add ingredient as a power window inside of DaVinci Resolve. So to do that, over here you can see that this is the footage and I'm going to go around over here onto let's say add node and I'm going to add a serial node right here. So over here, I am in the power window section right here and once I do that, I'm going to go around and click on the gradient option right here. Once I do that, you can see that the gradient has been added. But if I were to go around and make changes, you can see that the top portion is being changed while the bottom portion is not being changed. That is because the power window is uh, not being um, uh, not being applied on the bottom section, but it is being applied onto the top section. But there is gradient right there and that is why you can see only subtle change right here. So let's, let's go around over here and see how this actually looks. And this is the power window as you can see right here. So you can go around and then invert this out right here just like this. Or you can go around and enable and disable this uh, according to how you want as well. So that is what you have and you can go around and pan out or let's say for example rotate out the uh, power window right here according to how you like as you can see right here you can work around with the opacity of the power window right here and make it more soft over here you can make it harsh just like this or make it more soft as you can see just like this you can tilt it out over here just like this as well and that is what you have let me just go around onto the power window and it gives you this control as you can see you can click and drag around uh, the gradient right here just like this and you can rotate this around and pull this out to make the gradient much more softer so let's say over here on this section, I'm just going to go around and add in something like a ray of light. So you can go around and make everything, let's say, for example, a bit more yellow is right here, just like this. So let's go around and make it more yellow. And once that is done, you can go around over here uh, on to, uh, let's say, uh, the view mode. And you can see that this is how it actually looks. You can go around onto the power window and you can go around over here, click and drag this just like this. And that is what you have. So if I were to go around right here, you can change around the color as you can see just like this uh, to add in a bit of gradient over that. So you can go around, add in other gradient over here as well. And you can rotate this around. And let's say I'm going to go around, keep this right around on the bottom. And you can pull this out over here as well. Pull this out over here just like this. So once that is done, you can go around over here and then change, let's say, for example, it to a, a darker a blue right here, just like this, as you can see. And that is how uh, the power window can affect out how the lights look. So this is what you have. You got two, as you can see, just like this. And then it affects out the rest of the video right here. You can pull it out right here and then adjust it out according to how you want. So I can go around on to the other power window and adjust this out as well. And that is what you have. So you can see that. Uh, this is, these are the power window that is applied right here uh, where certain effect is there and certain effect is not there. So that is how you can um, apply gray, uh, that is a uh, power window gradient inside of the Avinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.